What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It's I, James, redoptionagency.com. 22 years selling full-time on eBay. And we are Tuesday evening. It's 5 p.m. Do you know where your sales are? Well, I may have the answer to exactly where your sales are because I got a question. Did I find a pattern that dictates how eBay is ran? How the algorithm works? I'm going to get into that because... It's very concerning what I'm noticing. But before we get into that, please like this video. And as Mr. Beast would say, it, please like this video if there's anything I've ever done that helped you out in any way whatsoever. Please hit that thumbs up on this video. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. If you've been here like forever, you might have to unsubscribe, then subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Because I know like years ago they made a change. So if you're like old, old school subscriber, that may still be a thing. I'm not sure. But anyway, so Pee Wee is still recovering. He's sleeping. I can hear pretty good if something does happen. But hopefully we're good for the day and for quite a while period now after his seizures. So he's still recovering. Baby girl is here with me. But uh, where are we at? So we are at 420, 420 again. It's weird how that time works out the way it does. Um, as of right now, $373 for the day. I would like to be closer to numbers where I feel like I'm going to hit 800 plus again. But that's going to go into what I think I may have found. Whoops, hit the wrong button right there. Traffic. 22 items sold, 16 promoted, 6 organic. And this kind of plays into it also, 6 organic. Why do I only have 6 organic when I lowered all my lower dollar items to be more competitive? Hmm. Kind of plays into where I'm going with this theory pattern thing. But before we get into that, um, is that it? Let's do some questions and comments before I get into that. And uh, yeah, I'm not liking what I've found or what I think may I may have found. It's going to take a little bit more work, but all right. Let's see. First up, hi James. Despite having crappy Despite having a crappy weekend, I had a $160 day for just two hours last night. Then dead after that, except one sale from a really low offer. I took it anyway. I've been doing that. I've done that several times today. So I could move the DVD. It makes me wonder if the site is consistently being worked on. Yes. <laughs> or people not having access to the site. Um... With the crazy sales I have had since Thursday, I'm surprised I didn't sell a crazy amount of my stock. Um, so we, I'll, I'll go ahead. Thanks for all the comments on the Pee Wee seizure video. I had to kind of release just to move on. So I appreciate all the comments on there. I won't get into reading those. Mr. Fluffy Face it is, yes. I'm always self-evaluating myself and cutting off excess fat. Good call. Um, peewee, peewee. Uh, da, da, da. You sounded like me where you give, give, give and get nothing in return. Well, I don't expect anything in return, though. You know, I don't pay attention if I get anything in return anyway. Uh, I just kind of look at it as... If you're in a positive headspace, positive things will happen to you. You know, that's the way I kind of look at that. Um, I don't mind it as, to a certain extent, but if it goes overboard, then it's a problem. And end of day, at the end of the day, you have to look out for yourself because no one will, even with your family members. Being selfish is hard to do, but you need to gain the experience so that you could use it in order to protect yourself. Well, with me... Being selfish is very easy to do. That's why I just try very hard to avoid it. Because I grew up being very selfish. I grew up with selfish parents. So I learned the trait. 
and I used it in the dog fight of where I grew up. When you grow up with nothing, um, you tend to fight a little harder for things, and that includes being selfish. So I can very easily be selfish. I just don't want to be that. So I fight against being that. But I'm very easy, can go the other way also um, overboard. So it's finding that balance. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There are a lot of self-centered people out there. And if you give a vibe of being a nice guy, you will get screwed over with time and money. Yeah, that's the one good thing about going from a very selfish person to being to at times being an overgiving person and being a reader of people, if you will. I can detect BS pretty damn quick. That's why there's certain, like, YouTubers I won't interact with or what have you just because there is something laying underneath the surface. Even if it's not out yet, I know it's there. Um, and it usually comes out over time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I'm pretty good at sniffing that stuff out. Not, not perfect, but pretty good. Uh, I think Paul Stanley said it best when questioning about eBay. He said it's a psycho service circus. And I say, welcome to the show. Psycho circus. And welcome to the show. I like that song. That was a pretty good album, actually. I haven't listened to that album in a long time. You're in the sci. You're in the psycho circus. And I said, welcome to the show. Keep up the grind and don't lose yourself along the way. I noticed notice the Kiss Asylum badge hanging there. Is that a backstage pass? This is a local crew for the Asylum. And then a Hotter Than Hell. Not sure if the Hotter Than Hell is actually... Actually, I don't know if either one of them's actually official anything. I probably picked them up at, I think, a... I want to say at a antique mall, long, long time ago, really cheap. So I don't know if either one of them's official or if they were just kind of made, but I picked them up. From my collection at the time, I had not just the bust, I had like huge Kiss collection, like all the big bears, the small toys, the figures. So I had a huge Kiss collection because you could get so much of that on clearance at Spencer's and I'd always buy clearance Spencer music related items uh, when I worked retail and building that huge kiss collection was all clearance Spencer stuff but yeah that was I think I want to say from an antique mall not 100% but that's the first instinct I'm remembering I'm happy with who you are too honest your friendly stalker <laughs> Uh, so here's what I'm noticing pattern wise. So as you remember last month, when I rechecked my average per day was like, what was it? 609 or something in sales every day. What day did it? So on April 23rd, is when I turned all my low dollars from $9.95, I lowered them to $5.99. So 23rd. So let me go into sales for April 1st through the 22nd. And I want, oh, I don't have my calculator down here. Where's the calculator on the computer at? Will it pop up here? Like old school? There we go. So that'd be 22. So we got four. Hold on. Let me do all days, all listings. I mean, all websites. All right. 
So we got 15.077 point. What the hell did you do, James? 15077 point divided by 22 equals 685. So if I remember correctly, that's a little bit higher than last month's average by maybe $75 or so. So that is up. But what I noticed is this. So let me go the night. No, I don't want to do it. Yeah, the 19th through the 21st. And I closed my calculator. Now, if my theory is right, these three days should average about the, the 685. 1978. Divided by 3 is 660. So very close, just like I predicted. Now here's the pattern I'm seeing. And that just kind of kind of falls into to it. So up until the 22nd, I had up a little from last month, but pretty much the same average. Then I took the prices and I lowered them 599. So I made a big change and got an impact, got a big reaction, and had three days at 885, 811, and 873. Then something happened. The past three days went back to the average before I lowered the stuff. Actually, technically a little less. So are we destined to be on a certain average. And then if we change something within the system of the algorithm, we do get that kick. And then once eBay figures that out or it registers or whatever the case may be, it says, nope, you're going back to your average. Is that what is, that what is happening? So no matter what you do, you're only gonna get that average. You can do something to stir it up and to get a little pop, but then they slap you back down and say, no, you're back down to the average boy. Would that make come into play too when somebody has a thousand dollars day, then the next day they have zero? Keeping that check and balances in play. It's not looking too positive when you look at it in that aspect. Because now my question is, I'm going to let this run probably maybe through the middle of next month, see what my average number is, see if it's at 650 to 690. If it is, I'm going to take my 599s back up to 995. We're going to see if I get an initial pop and then it levels back down to the 650 to 690. Because if that's the case, that will show 100%, in my opinion, in my untechy mind, that is going to show 100%, without a doubt, there is an average control to each store, to each account. Because something don't smell right. These theories have always been out there, right? But they have just been that. There's been no real, like, data to back it up. There's been little here and there inconsistency, like, like I said, the $1,000 day, the zero, and then average in that. So there's been little. But if I can make one, two, three to four changes and predict what's going to happen, that is a pattern. If you can predict exactly what's going to happen over and over and over and over again, that is a pattern. Will that be what's the case? Because I'm two steps in and I see the pattern. So when I do step three, putting them back up to 995, 
Will I get that initial pop and then it back down again? Will I even get the initial pop? We will see. So that's, that's where I'm going with this little next test project to see. Because then no matter what you do, you're only going to be allowed a certain amount of dollars per day. That is very um, concerning, disheartening, and very unmotivating if this theory pans out. And when I do do that 995 thing, I got to think about it. Do I leave everything still at 30% off? So that ain't changing. Or do I eliminate the sale as a whole? Or do I include that into the test? Leave it all 30%, put them up to 995. And then if there's still that pattern halfway or toward the end of the next month, then I take the sale off, then see if that average number still continues. If I could keep getting the same average number, but just little pops when I do change things, that's a pattern. Then the question is, how do we uh, tackle that pattern? How do, is there a way to change the pattern? So that's going to be the ultimate question and the ultimate goal, changing that pattern. All right. Whoops. I didn't want to go there. Go to Seller Hub. All right. Let's see what's sold here. We've got an array of things. An array of things. First up, we got this CD, Making Music. Sold for $14. This CD has a story behind it. Uh, on this tag, it says Electronic Exchange. They had their stuff in books. I walk in, this was a store in Bridgeton, Bridgeton, I think, or was it farther up? I don't remember. On the Rock Road. So I walked in there one day just to see if there's anything that I can buy to resell. They basically have everything from remotes to plug-ins. Electronic exchange is just that. Parts and pieces of electronics and whole electronics. But they also had a CD section. So I walked in started talking with the guy. I don't remember what we were talking about. Um, but the CD collection had a lot of, because of the area, had a lot of uh, current rap stuff in it at the time. Bone Thugs and Harmony and stuff like that. So I offered him a dollar a piece on all the CDs. And I would just take out everything, wipe them out. And he's like, took me up on that offer. So instead of standing there putting them all in the books, he gave me the books. I just bring the books back to me once you put all the discs into the cases, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. But, but I walked into a place, not, ex you know, kind of just looking around and ended up buying the whole CD collection that he had for a dollar a piece. And it's still making me money. So, and that was maybe 07, 08 would be my guess. So yeah, 14 bucks right there. Plus shipping, of course. Next up, we've got, where are you at? Did I forget you? I may have, no, oh, there it is. Oh, da, 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 da. Gopella, even closer CD, sold for $7. Next up, we've got China's First Emperor. Two DVD set sold for four dollars. Took an offer on that. That's my lowest I will go is four dollars. And an offer just came through. What was that? Two sixty six or twenty six sixty six? Twelve sixty five for a sweater. Alfred Dunner woman's sweater. I will take that. 
give me the money. So if my theory's correct, today will just be another $600-ish dollar day in the 600s. Next up, we got some uh, jacks. A couple of balls and some of the jacks, are they called? <laughs> or is the game called jacks? I'm not sure. Uh, that's 04. Took an offer for five bucks. Just to move it, move it. Jason's Deli. Sold for ten fifty. We got Diane Gilman shirt. See, this is the kind of shirt I would have wore back in the day with my long hair. Hell, I would wear it now if I was in shape. That would be a shirt I'd wear. Oh, uh, this sold for twelve sixty. With the little tassel hanging down and stuff, being all sexy. Sexy. <laughs> Next up, some caterpillar men's sandals. Rugged. Those sold for thirty dollars. Next up, Jamie Grace CD. Yeah, hey, I just put that out. Uh, sold for four twenty. Next up, we've got a. This is a Bill Dance Bass Pro Shop T-shirt. Guess he's a fisherman. That sold for twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. I make you holla. We got Shaw blades. Does that take hallucination? Took an offer for four dollars on that. Next up, we got some shoes that's been sitting in my store for six, seven years. Alex Marie, women's high heels, sold for $10. Got a cool Olympic hat here, Salt Lake 02. That sold for $12.60. We got an Almond Brothers promo single. That sold for $4.20. Rodney Jenkins CD sold for ten bucks. Ten dollars. St. Louis Cardinals visor sold for seven fifty. We got this uh, Boeing litigation group polo shirt. Uh, that sold for twelve sixty. I don't know how I missed this this morning. It was in two spots. I knew to pull it. But I forgot to pull it. It wasn't in the first spot. So I forgot to pull it from the second spot. But what's even tripping me out is when I clicked on it to start shipping. I don't remember seeing it. Because I would go, oh, I forgot that. And I don't remember saying that in this morning's video. But booyah, tribe. That's that. That sold for $4.20. Well, that's it. Unfortunately, short and simple. This evening. So, 373 as of right now. So we're going to hit that probably $600 to 630 mark today. Would be my guess. And now my guess would be my, if I'm only allowed a certain amount and my items are lower dollar, that the 685 that was the beginning of the month will not be the same average for the last few days or even for the first part of next month. But it's still going to be about that same average. I don't know. Hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Hopefully that's not a thing. But something's up, of course, as we've known for quite a while now. So, all right. Enough. I got to get back. I'm working. I still haven't. I've been three days without listing. I haven't listed an item in three days, I think. Because I've just been going through taking pictures of all the stuff that I've that's been picked up over the past couple of weeks. So I'm probably processing that, taking pictures for drafts. So I'm going through all the clothes I picked up this weekend. I picked up three massive bags of clothes from Found by the Pound, plus what uh, we found at the uh, bins. So me and Saturday when me and my friend went out, Kevin. So 
back to work I go. So thanks everybody for hanging out. I will see you all in the next video. Later.